<laughs> so welcome back. You, you haven't been here for a little while, but um, you've been an outspoken critic of you know who in the White House since before he took office. And we've been talking about the impeachment conversation. Now, what, what have you been thinking about in terms of <laughs> impeachment, the hearings? Have you watched any of them? Or? I've, I've watched some. I, I think uh, no, matter what, no matter what happens, which we know probably in the Senate he won't get convicted or whatever, but uh, it, he, we have to do this. It's, um, we have to go through the motions. Symbolically, it means something. It's a taint on his presidency, of more than a taint. It's a stain, one that he deeply deserves. So, uh, yes, we will go through it and take our chances. We have to take our chances, no matter what. He's going to try and use it, that he got ahead of it, he beat it like a gangster. I, I beat the rap, I beat them like the Teflon Don. But he, he has to take that punishment. He has to, he, he has to pay the consequences. Mm -hmm. even, if, even if you think that... <laughs> even if that means that could risk... Republicans. We don't have time winning for in the, that. In the he election. did something right. wrong. He has to pay for it. Period. You know, we agree with you. Um, I was reading the New York Times Magazine, an, an interview you did um, yeah. for the Irishman, and um, it, in it you say that you would never play Trump uh, because he has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. So wait. Mm -hmm. So I, I, just oh. let me finish this because uh, you have played some of the most really unredeemable characters. Travis Bickle. <laughs> Travis Bickle was a psychopathic taxi driver. <laughs> Jake LaMotta, who used to beat his wife, and he was in The Raging Bull. Uh, is Trump worse than they are? To me, he is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why? Tell us. Because he has no understanding that I can see of the outside world uh, other than anything around him. He has no idea of what his purpose in life is as the president should be, and that is to pull the country together, to be f for the people, to heal wounds, not to open them up and, mm -hmm. and pour salt on them. He, he's, uh, he's uh, I always say, he's a lowlife. Yeah. He's yeah. a lowlife. And, and what, talk, talk about... You... And he knows he's yeah. a lowlife. Yeah. He knows everything he projects about neg negative things on individuals, on situations, on institutions. He's saying about himself. Right. He's right. what you call projecting. That's right. Because he feels that about himself, mm -hmm. but he's saying it to them. It's like the, dir the dirtiest player. You insult people and say the terrible things about them when you feel that way about yourself. Mm -hmm. You know how terrible that is. Yes. Yeah. He actually says that. That's true. Yeah. What he said okay. about her father. Very nasty man. Very what is nasty. that about? Yeah. He was, and, and, he was and deeply the emasculated. He's yeah. deeply emasculated yes. by my father's legacy, and he can't take it. That's yes. what it's about. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you it's also, a... uh, Bobby, you also talk about his children, mm. and you say that they're like a gangster family, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want my kids to take this the wrong way, but if my kids did what these kids did, I wouldn't want to be related to them. I would disown them. Yeah. I'd have a serious Strong talk with statement. them. Mm -hmm. I'd have a serious talk with them. First of all, it's an impossibility. My kids are not like that, of right. course. But if I disagreed with them on things of, of principle, um, I'd say, and, and they felt it, and we do now. So even about this, which, right. uh, my, my, how strongly I feel about it, as I feel that we're at a, we're at a, um, crossroads. we're at a crossroads, as we all know. This guy, <coughs> he'd, he'd want to get elected a third term. Yeah, he yeah. even joked about it. Yeah, he'd want to be king for life. Mm -hmm. All these things are true. We see that. We know that about him now. This guy has got to be taken seriously, and he's got to be taken out of office. What about his enablers, too? McConnell. His enablers. That's why I think, actually, the bigger sting for him is not impeachment. It's the American people voting him out, because he can't say yes, it was political. Uh, we but want the American people, of course, to vote, vote him out, register, get young people, get Latinos, get African Americans, everybody out there. Don't be apathetic. You've got to get out there right. now and okay. vote. You do.